Health experts here in Atlanta are echoing the World Health Organization's concern over new COVID variants. They say while COVID cases have been dropping, conditions are ripe for new variants to appear. Why? Here's our Why Guy. It is all new this morning. Their names will forever be a part of our history. So far, Delta and Omicron have been the most noteworthy variants of the coronavirus pandemic. Both have proven to be far more contagious than the original strain. As the rate of new cases drop here in the United States, health experts are warning new variants could be on the horizon. We are still in a very intense period. It was the head of the World Health Organization who warned that the world is ripe for new variants of the coronavirus. Let's explore why he and others monitoring the pandemic agree. As long as the virus continues to spread, there is the risk of another prominent mutation. Dr. Jane Morgan is the clinical director of the COVID task force at Piedmont Healthcare. She says you have to look at the pandemic as a worldwide problem and consider vaccine access. We still have 86 countries that haven't met the minimum criteria set by the World Health Organization of 40% vaccination. We have Africa that has 85% of the entire continent that is yet to receive a first dose. According to the CDC, the Omicron variant was first detected in South Africa in November. By early December, it was spreading in the United States. We are all interconnected. Some parts of the world, like Germany and Brazil, have seen cases climb in recent weeks, according to data gathered by the New York Times. All of those infections provide opportunities for this virus to replicate and then form mutation. Millions of opportunities. Dr. Morgan tells us while scientists are working to identify new variants, one can develop and spread for days or weeks before it's discovered. 